Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we'll learn how to upload a file to OneDrive from the URL. So OneDrive API recently released a new API to allow you to upload a file directly by providing just the URL. I'll be using Yahoo Finance uh, stock historical data as demonstration. So if you go to Yahoo Finance, and if you search for a ticker that you want to uh, download the historical data file, now I want to download the historical data file for a Meta platform, which is Facebook. If you go to the historical data tab, and here we have this uh, download button. If I click on this uh, download button or the link, it's going to prompt me to save the CSV file. Now here I'm going to grab the link, the download link, and open a blank script. And I'm going to create a variable called download link. Now I'll send a link to this variable. All right, so I already uh, insert my app ID. And as for the scopes, I'll be using files that rewrite scope. So for the import statement, I'm going to import the requests library. And from MS Graph, I'm going to import the generate access token function in the graph API endpoint variable. And make sure that you download the source code to the msgraph.py file from the link in the description below. Alright, so I'm going to move the download link variable uh, below the scopes variable. Now here I'm going to generate my access token. And I'm going to insert the generate access token function. And I'll provide the app ID and the scopes. And I'll name the object as access token. All right, so I want to upload the file to my OneDrive, let's see, to this uh, OneDrive lessons folder. So first on the top, I'm going to grab the folder ID. So if we look at the uh, URL in here uh, for this ID property, it will have this value, which is the uh, folder's ID. All right, so here I'm going to create a variable called folder ID. And I'll send the folder ID to uh, this variable. Now let me go ahead and run this code block myself. And it's going to ask me to uh, insert the authentication code. And once I authenticate the account, I can close the tab. Now this is going to be step one, authentication. And step two is going to be upload file to OneDrive. All right, so let's do this. I'll move uh, these two variables to step two. We need to update the headers by assigning a new key. Oh, and I forgot to create my headers object. So for authorization, and it's going to be bear space plus the access token. Now to upload a file by only providing a URL, from the headers object, we need to insert a new property called prefer. And the value is going to be respond dash async. And to provide the uh, files metadata information, here we need to create a JSON body object. Inside the request body object, we need to specify the uh, file download link using the key at microsoft.graph.source URL. And send that you needs to be capitalized. And it's going to be download link. And for the file name, uh, this is going to be just the name property. And I'll name the file Facebook historical data. 
the CSV. And one of the required field is the file field. And we can leave this as an empty dictionary. And that's everything we need to uh, provide when we make the request call. Now from the requests library, I want to make a post request. So first I'm going to insert the graph API endpoint URL. And as for the uh, query path, I'm just going to be me slash drive slash items slash. And it's going to be for the ID. If you want to upload a file to your uh, home directory, then you will make this root. But for now, I want to upload the file to my lessons folder slash children. Then we need to uh, supply the headers. And lastly, for the request body, we need to assign that to the uh, JSON parameter. And I'll name the output as response. So here I'm going to print the response recent string. And let's do this. So if the post request is successful, then we're going to get the recent code 204. Otherwise, I want to print the reason why the uh, request is not successful or why the request failed. So this is going to be everything we need to write for the script. Now let me terminate the session. Now here I'm going to press F5 to run the script. All right, so here I have an error. Let's see, let me take a look. The status code should be 202. If I print the recent string, it's going to return accept. So that means OneDrive was able to download the file to my OneDrive folder. So if I refresh my uh, OneDrive folder, And here's the Facebook uh, stock historical data file. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.